Hey, here are five stupid things I've noticed about NASA. It's been stuck in low Earth orbit for 40 years. Over 40 years ago, in December 1972, the Apollo program ended. Apollo 17 was the last manned moon mission. It was also the last time humans traveled beyond the low Earth orbit. NASA has done a lot of stuff since then, and a lot of really, really cool stuff too, like the Voyager probes, uh, the various Mars rovers, the Hubble Space Telescope, of course, the Kepler spacecraft, but people since Apollo have not gone any higher than low Earth orbit. And why is that? Well, there are a few reasons. It's underfunded. Space exploration is expensive, especially if by space exploration you mean shooting rockets full of people at the moon. The main reason that NASA's manned space program has been parked in low Earth orbit since the early 1970s is that NASA just hasn't had the money to do much of anything else. And I'm not knocking the space shuttle program there. I was a fan of the shuttle. In fact, overall, I would say NASA's done a pretty good job these last four decades of working with what it has, especially when you consider how tight the purse strings have been since Apollo ended and the absolutely shameful fact that it gets almost no political support. I'm looking at you Republicans and Democrats. The sad truth is there have been precious few presidents or members of Congress who've been willing to stand up and suggest that maybe we should give NASA some more money. In fact, really no president since Kennedy has taken much more than an obligatory interest in the American manned space program, which baffles me. It creates jobs, it unites and inspires the people. You'd think it would be a politician's wet dream. Yes, it is expensive, and yes, there is some risk to human life involved, but you know what else you can say that about? A war. Why is it that wars are the only public works projects that never have any trouble getting funded? Manned space exploration, oh yeah, that's too expensive and dangerous, but a war? Fuck yeah, we'll print money to fight a war. You know, my kindergarten teacher had a word for priorities like this. Fucked. It lacks clear goals. In 1961, John Kennedy publicly proposed that the United States land people on the moon by the end of that decade. When Kennedy made that proposal to Congress on May 25, 1961, the United States had precisely one successful manned space flight under its belt, Alan Shepard's 15-minute suborbital flight that had just taken place 20 days before. That, my friends, is what you call balls. What's that? We just sent a guy kind of into space for 15 minutes? Okay, fuck it. Let's land on the moon. And they did. The President of the United States stood before both houses of Congress 50 years ago and set a bold and specific goal, and it was accomplished. Today, NASA's manned spaceflight goals sound less inspiring and more like the vague, noncommittal results of a conversation between a pair of drunken administrators. Okay, here's what let's do. We'll send astronauts to a near-Earth asteroid in like 10 years or something, and maybe we'll go to the moon again eventually. <sighs> and shit, I guess maybe we could go to Mars too in like another 20 years or something. I don't know. Stirs the spirit, doesn't it? It's being left behind by the rest of the world. Despite trailing the Russians the first few years, for most of its history, NASA was the world leader in manned space exploration. Now, the state space agencies of China, Russia, Japan, India, even Iran, are planning manned moon missions for the next 10 to 15 years. So are several private companies and manned missions to Mars are also being seriously considered. Meanwhile, with the long overdue retirement of the space shuttle, NASA finds itself with no manned spacecraft currently in service. And no one who could have done anything about this seems to care much. And that might not be the stupidest thing about NASA, but it's got to be the saddest thing, that the destiny of the agency is in the hands of such timid, apathetic, short-sighted people. And, saddest of all, those same people are in charge of not just NASA, but of pretty much everything else. 
So have a nice day, won't you? The hardest part is only picking five. Catch you next time.